All right. Amen. Amen. You know what's on the inside of your brother? The real thing. Amen. Amen. You know what you are? You're sitting out here tonight, and you might be an imitation bug. Yeah. You might have grapes inside you instead of Jesus. Amen. Right. You understand what I'm trying to tell you? Jesus has to be on the inside. You have to have a real thing. Amen. It's labeled as yeah. You can be labeled as, a, as this. Amen. Uh -huh. A fake Christian. But you know what? Everybody might look at you and it looks like it's butter. Come on. But it ain't butter. You understand what I'm telling you? Amen. You have to be what you say you are. Yes. The only way to do that is to give your heart to Jesus. Yes, sir. Amen. Now, I've been praying since, since we started this that God would give me a message. And I've been praying that whoever was here was lost would give their heart to Jesus. Amen. Amen. If you're a church member here like I was, there's nothing worth going to hell for. That's right. That's right. I don't think we'd be going to church for 50 years. I'd rather be going to church one year to save yeah. you than going 50 years long. Amen. 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 That's good. You get saved. Thank you, Luke. You right. get saved. <clears throat> you get saved tonight. It'll be the best day of your life. Amen. Amen. You know what you can do? Amen. You can enjoy it. The rest of this camp means so much better. Instead of having to sit here and sit here and, and be sitting on the chair and your heart be bouncing every night because the man of God's up here preaching the word of God. But you know what? If you go ahead and give it to God tonight and get saved tonight, Come on. then go out of here and then I'm telling you have the best night sleep ever. Amen. 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 I don't want to quit preaching. Preach. I feel good. Amen. Amen. Come on. He'll make you secure. Ephesians 1, 13 and 14 says, In whom ye also trusted, after that ye heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation, in whom also after that ye believed, ye were sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise. Amen. Amen. Which is the earnest of our inheritance, amen, until the redemption of the purchased possession. Amen. You know what that means? I'm sealed till he's coming in. Yes, amen. amen. It says unto the, unto the praise of his glory. He didn't, say, he didn't just say, I'm going to see you until I come and get you. He says, He's going to praise and give glory too for it, amen? Amen. 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 You know what the Word of God says? Amen. I get excited when I read the Word of God. Ephesians 4 30. Amen. It says, And grieve not the Holy Spirit of God, whereby ye are sealed until the day of redemption. Amen. Amen. Don't grieve the Spirit of God tonight. He wants you to come and get saved. Amen. Amen. There's somebody under this camp lodge tonight. Amen. amen. Whether you come will be up to you. You see, I can't go like you. To you like that preacher did to me and pull you to this altar. It won't do any good. That's right. You have to come on your own Amen. free will. Amen. 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 I'm going to tell you this one more little old thing, and I'm not going to prop, but I'm going to tell you. My grandma used to have uh, uh, put up preserves. I know a lot of you do that. Y'all got gardens. I'm sure I'd probably ask for hands, and you'd say, yeah, I do that. But we'd go down to Greenville, <clears throat> and she, she'd make me toast, and we wouldn't have no jelly. She said, go back there, honey, in that back room, and get me one of them jars of jelly I'll put up. Been out there for a year, amen. All right. And she would, <clears throat> she would pull. I bring that thing back in there, brother David. She'd unscrew that thing, and she'd get a fork and plop. And anyway, it was sealed. Oh yes. And let me tell you something. That jelly was good as it, the first day it did put up. Amen. And if my grandma was that good a sealer, how good do you think God? Come on. Come on. Yeah. That's good. Come on. Yeah. Yes, amen. It ain't about what I do, it's about what he does. But I tell you, if you'll get a hold of this, it's not a license to sin. If you'll get a hold of this, if you find out that why he done what he does, because he loved you that much, you'll want to live for it. Yes, amen. amen. You don't want to go down the dark path. Amen. Right. You stay close to it. But when I got out, you know what happened to me? I got out on Wednesday night. Well, it's just Wednesday night. And then it was not reading my Bible. All right, now. And then it was Sunday night. Hey. They, Come didn't, on. they didn't say nothing about me not coming Wednesday. I'm going to see if I can get away with it not one Sunday. Uh -huh. See, I was gotten away from God. Before you know that, I was out on Sunday. Amen. Got out in the world. Uh -huh. I lost my family. But God restored it. Amen. 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 Yes. Not only did He restore it, many years later, you know what He done? He called me to preach. Amen. Not because I'm worthy. And I scared to death when I got up here. But glory to God, he calmed me down. Yeah. I told him one day at the church, you know what I told him? I said, it feels like butter running all over me. I quit telling him that. One of my boys back there, he said, you smell like butter this morning. That's <laughs> it. what it feels like running across my body to take the pain away. Amen. And I know God can heal me, but you know what? He may leave this with me. He may, I don't know what will happen. But whatever he wants, I can live. Amen. 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 Yes, sir. Because I know yes. I've got more days behind me. That I've got in front of you. Yeah. And there's a day coming. What a day that'll be. Yeah. Yeah. Mm, I'm going to tell you right now. I can't wait to go. My mama just passed away. 
She's already up there hey, with man. my grandma. My grandma got her a little hanky. Probably yeah. greeted my mama coming in. And when she come in, they're waiting on me now. I believe it. I'm telling you right now, you know what they're going to say? Boy, we've been here all morning waiting on you because there's right. no night in heaven. Yeah. There will be no night in heaven. Right. We won't have to have no rest. Amen? All right. All right. I don't feel like I need none right now, but I'm going to close. Right. Everybody stand to your feet if we can get somebody to come back and play the game. Amen. I'm going to tell you right now, I want you to bow your heads. And I want you to search your own heart. You know what? You're, the Bible says examine yourselves. Amen. Before God, you have to do the examining. And you know what you need to do? You need to find out tonight. Examine. Are you really saved? And I'm not trying to get you to doubt your salvation. If you got it settled, you'll be settled and you won't be able to shake you. But if you don't know 100% you're saved, let me tell you something. You better come down to this altar and make sure you know. This may be your last chance yeah. to get saved. This may be your last chance to get back right with God if you've got Him on the back burner. This may be your last opportunity to lay your head down on your pillow tonight and say, boy, everything's good with me and God. Why would anyone want to leave here when they can come down to this altar and do that? Everybody bow your head while the brother sings up here.
but we can't even trust God to take care of our All right, come on. Yeah. We got more faith in a pharmacist than a doctor. Than right. A doctor. All right. Come on. It's time that we get back right with God. Amen. 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 I'll tell you what, there's nothing better than Jesus. Amen. Nothing better. I want to just ask you, every head bowed that she's playing softly. Every head bowed, every eye closed. Nobody looking around, nobody watching. We're going to go home. We're going to sing a song here in just a minute. I'm not, I don't believe in just dragging stuff out, but I want to make sure. Because there ain't none of us promised tomorrow. Jesus right. can step out on that cloud in the morning. Right. And the dead in Christ shall rise first. And those that are alive and remain will be called up together to meet him in the air. It can happen. But as every head's bowed, every eye closed, I want to ask you something. If you know Jesus Christ as your Savior, why aren't you down here praying for those that don't? If we want revival, if we want to see our family saved, if we want to see our loved ones come to know Jesus Christ, I believe it's going to have to take a little bit of time and effort where we put our pride away and say, Lord, I'm going to come, I'm going to kneel my knee down in the altar, and I'm going to beg you to save my family. You want to see revival in our land? It's going to start with us. The redeemed, the blood bought, the sealed by the blood of the Lamb. I want to ask one more question. Why nobody's looking around, nobody's watching. If you're here tonight and you're not 100% sure that if you died right now that you would go to heaven, would you just slip your hand up and write back down? There's nobody looking, nobody watching. Eric, thank you, thank you. Would there be anybody else? Would there be anybody else? Just slip their hand up and write back down. I just want to pray for you. There's, there's another one. Folks, if you gather around this altar, you pray for these that's raised their hands. I want to ask you something, young lady and young man. Would you look at me just a moment while nobody else is? What's keeping you from coming to Jesus Christ? He loves you. He died for you. And He wants you to come home and be with Him one day. But the only way you'll get there is you profess Him as Savior. Are you looking at me? You look at me. Don't look at nobody else. Both of you. He wants you. He loves you. I can't make you come. You have to feel the Holy Spirit of God draw you to that altar of repentance. But He wants you to come. Otherwise, you would have never raised your hand. You would have never lifted your hand up if He wasn't already working in your heart. What's keeping you from coming? I promise you, there's somebody that can take this old King James Bible and meet you right here at this altar if you'll get up out of that chair. Or come on up around that pole. They'll meet you with the King James Bible and show you how to be gloriously saved. All you have to do is tell them. You have to take that step. Would you do that tonight? I'm telling you. We're not promised tomorrow. And yes, folks, I am begging. I don't want to see nobody go to hell. Right? Amen. All you have to do is let go of promise you somebody will meet you and show you how to be saved. That you understand how to be saved. Yes. All you have to do is come. I need Miss Smith. If you would meet me here, right here at this altar with your Bible, please. Would you talk with this young lady and make sure she understands salvation and that she needs a Savior? Yes. man, I want you to know, I, everybody hit, head bowed, every eyes closed. I don't know need to know who this is but me and God. What's keeping you? It's your choice. Heaven or hell. Hell's a real place. It's a place of eternal torment, eternal, eternal damnation, eternal separation from God. You'll make that choice to go there. You'll step over the blood of Jesus Christ to go to hell. But you have to do it. You have to make that step to come to get, receive Him. All you have to do is come.
congregation, let's sing a song together, just as I am. We'll sing it together and we'll go home. Okay? <coughs> Brother Richard, you come on up and lead it. And we'll go home. <laughs> Just as I am with that one dream. Well, God, we give you another chance. All you have to do is come. I promise there'll be somebody here to take that Bible until you have to be saved.
got enough for the whole world. Yeah. Boy, I'm excited. Amen. And if, for those of you who don't know, this is Miss Smith. Amen. Amen. Pastor Smith's wife, one that started this church. Amen. Amen. And she got the opportunity to talk and lead her to the Lord. Right? Amen. 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 Still serving Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. And I love her. Amen. 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 I'll tell you what, we're going to dismiss in a word of prayer. Ain't God good? Amen. I believe the Bible says, let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Amen. 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 Nothing better than Him. Brother Chad, you dismiss us in a word of prayer. Let's go and we'll come back tomorrow night, 7 o'clock, and let's give Him glory again. Invite everybody you can. Tell them God's moving, not us. Amen. God. Father, Lord, we're just so thankful for this precious soul that you've saved tonight, Father. Yes, yes. Lord. We're just Amen. so thankful for the good singing and the good preaching, Lord, that's been, been here tonight. Lord, we thank the Lord that you showed up tonight, Lord. But yes. you know, if it wasn't for you, Lord, it, it would all be in vain, Father. Amen. And Lord, I just want to reiterate this again. Yes. Lord, we're just so proud and so thankful to, to serve you, the risen Savior. And Father, I pray that you'd go with each and every person, Lord, and bring them back to bring us back tomorrow night at the appointed time. And we just have a train Amen. 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 Amen.